Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. Yes, it is quarter to weekend and we have a few suggestions on how you can spend it. But before we get to that, check out our C40 section for updates on climate change because weather will affect your plans. One way to spend your weekend is by visiting the oh-so-stylish 191 restaurant at the Hyatt in Rosebank. You can look forward to their fresh flavours and inspired cuisine from all over the world with a South African twist. Joburg is, you know, like a different, different sort of clientele, but food is very important to the Joburger. It's a very big social um, talking point. You know, food is a big social point in it, and it's a social gathering. You know, people like to get out and enjoy it. I wouldn't say our menu is over the top, uh, but it's got really lovely flavors. Uh, definitely, um, we've spent a lot of time working on those flavors. Um, and then the presentations, lovely, fresh, colorful. Um, and the menu itself is very easy going. Uh, people can come through and really find there's a taste for everyone uh, on the menu itself. Uh, we have tea smoked uh, salmon, which we do uh, home smoked. It's got an amazing flavor. You really get the rooibos tea out of it. And that's distinctly South African. And uh, we add it to a very good quality salmon. Um, and all of that uh, together makes for an amazing start. So we try to actually do our cuisine for both the business and the leisure. From the outside and the surrounding area, as the hotel situated in Rosebank and Central, let's put it like that, we would like to, to get people from the business uh, group. So people can come for lunch, have meetings, and have uh, the lunch, and in the evening as well. Uh, people enjoy the fact that they can see you cook. Uh, there's a level of showmanship as well involved and I think it's really uh, made us as a team step up a lot. One thing you are going to experience if you come to 191 here at the Hyatt in Rosebank is genuine food, good flavours, good service. My name is Robin, this is Jobak today. Keep talking to us on social media by following us on Twitter at Joburg Today and liking us on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv. Also, when you're on the go, keep up with us on pockettv.mobi, and that is pocket with an I. Shahan from SA Archery TV had a conversation with two people involved in the SA National Championships that are being hosted here next week. What do you look out for when you're actually judging? Well, for us, paramount is safety and then also to have fair play for every single athlete. So we ensure that every athlete that's competing must have equal um, opportunity and no one getting any advantage over anybody else and just to make sure that things flow well. Yeah. Now, uh, let's move on to you, Seppi. Tell us, you have several records behind your name. How do you prepare for an event like this? For the national event, you know, it's not something that you can prepare in a week uh, up front uh, before the tournament. It's something that you need to continue working on. Um, the current level in South Africa is extremely high, so it's a continuous process. Um, archery is a sport where repetition is key. You need to be as consistent as possible. So um, you want to make sure that your form is impeccable, you do a lot of form training, you need to aim well, so you do aim training, and your fitness level needs to be good. And the best, well, practice for archery is doing archery itself. Mm. Um, mental training is very important as well. We do match plays where we shoot against each other. And if you know that the, your opponent is at the, at the moment uh, on better form, then you need to prepare yourself mentally to make sure that uh, you know, he doesn't get in your head and, and take away some of your self-confidence and, and just perform. So getting to nationals is, you know, it's months before that you know you're going to be there and you just need to, to keep on going. And when you're at nationals, you just hope for the best and hopefully do well. Now, I hope you're mentally prepared. Tell me, who are you going to look out for? Who do you want to beat this year? This year is, uh, <clears throat> I haven't been on my best form this year. And uh, we've got a couple of great archers that came out of a great 2013 season. Uh, the national team won silver medal at the World Championships as a team. And at the World Cup event in Poland, they won a, a silver medal. Did really well. And uh, all those uh, team members are going to be at the national. So 
Patrick Roo, DP Bierman and Gabriel Badenhorst, they're going to be there, but you know, uh, not taking away any of the capabilities of the other archers. Um, as I said, South Africa's got exceptional archers in my opinion. Uh, we've got about 10 people that's always on an international level of, 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 of scoring. So um, there's going to be, be a few guys there. So uh, I think I'm, I'm prepared better mentally than what I am at the moment on a fitness level. But uh, I'll, I'll make sure I give them a good run for their money. All right. Now, Charmaine, just one question for you before we go. Tell me about the field, in, the field work involved here. Of course, you don't have a dedicated uh, field for nationals. What was uh, this, this year's involvement in terms of actually working to get it right? Well, with it not being a dedicated field, we actually this year are on a rugby field, in fact, um, two rugby fields, and we run approximately nine and a half kilometers of rope to set out this um, field. And bearing that in mind, for us as judges who have to ensure that this is an um, international standard field of play, we have to ensure that the field is square and that safety is paramount and that everything is 100% correct. In fact, we have a little tolerance that we work for. For example, at 90 meters, we've got 30, se 30 centimeters of tolerance where the line can be a little bit in or out. Mm -hmm. So tolerances are very little. All right, of course, you want to uh, check out more on this field and just how much work was put into it. You can look at our special focus section on our website for an insert on exactly what went on behind the scenes to get it right. All right, guys, thanks so much for your time. Good luck to both of you, and I hope it's a successful event. Thank you very much. My name is Coco, you're watching Joburg Today. And that brings us to the end of today's show, but don't forget to check out our special focus section for more city coverage. Stay on top of the latest issues with Cap Talk and look forward to what Johannesburg has in store for you in the future with Joburg tomorrow. That is it from me. I love and I leave you with Lost and Found by Laurie Levine. Till next time. Back in ETV. Hey guys, welcome back to Balcony TV Johannesburg. I'm your host, Jenny. We're hanging out here at Randlord's with Laurie Levine on a beautiful summer's day. How are you doing, Laurie? Very good, thank you. Awesome, man. What song are you going to play for us today? It's called Lost and Found. Take it away. There's a light gone out your eyes Wander restless through weary nights Mist and coal, sand and smoke, drying up, dying dregs of hope. There's a light gone out your eyes. There's a song you used to sing, and a voice raised dust in the face of anything. Now there's chalk in your throat, a faint scratch, a thin rope. There's a song. Used to see so far me down. There's a place for old dreams, place of lost and found. Far me down. Take your pick from the path, lost and found. There's a wind gone out, you see Rust is spreading while you grow Cowardly and pale, fear and doubt Stop your cold with each second you go There's a wind gone out, you see So far, me down there's a place for all dreams, a place of lost and found. Follow me down, take your pick from the path. Lost and found. Ooh.
There are words you've forgotten how to say Throw your head back and laugh Throw your arms in the air There's a game you used to play So follow me down There's a place for old dreams A place of lost and found Take your pick from the past Lost and found Ooh. 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 Down. There's a place for old dreams, a place of lost and found. Follow me down, take your pick from the past, lost and found.